This video is going to show you how to set up Active Gatekeeper in a Q-Series PTZ camera. The first thing you want to do is go into setup. You want to make sure that your date and time is synced correctly with your computer or your server to ensure that when you create your schedule for your event that it's uh, going to operate efficiently. So then you want to go under PTZ. And you want to create a new home position because right now if I click go to home, this is the predefined home position in the camera. Uh, that's just out of the box. So we want to create a new home position and we want to go to that position. <clears throat> and this can be fully zoomed out or zoomed in a bit, whatever you want. This is important too. Make sure you have this checked off. Use the current position as the new home position. Click add. Then you want to go to your zoomed in view. So this is the view that the camera is going to zoom into upon your uh, motion zone, which I'm going to create right here being triggered. Um, so we're going to call this zoomed in position, click add. So that's all set. So now we've created our two preset positions. I'm going to go back to the home position. Then you're going to go under gatekeeper. And all the rules on how to set up Gatekeeper are right here. And we've already created our preset position, so we don't have to play around with that. So then we click Next. Now, this get active Gatekeeper function is determined by a motion zone. So this is my area of interest for right now. Um, I can create this motion zone to be bigger, smaller, whatever you want. Uh, whatever your area of interest is is just ensure that the sensitivity settings are set up correctly. So as I adjust the object size, you can see the um, threshold line goes up for larger objects to not just trip on simple things. So right now, I'm gonna leave the object size right there. And I'm gonna call this Active Gatekeeper, which I have already done. So we click Save. Uh, you can add other windows as well. Maybe you have two doors you want to cover. Anytime this door opens or this door opens or someone comes into this field of view or that field of view, whatever you want. Then you click Next. So now we have to create our rule. So the rule is going to be Gatekeeper. The event is going to be Active Gatekeeper. The schedule is going to be Always. So I already created this schedule of always. So I just went under events and created a new schedule and made it for um, all the time. But you can do this on whatever schedule you want. So I'm gonna click always. Under control, it's gonna be auto tracking. Preset position is gonna be that zoomed in position you created. And you wanna run the rule until auto tracking stops. And then um, when the rule is no longer active, you want the camera to return to the home position after how many seconds you want it to. Uh, we're gonna say, say five seconds. You click Save. Uh, just to show you under Events, we have now created the Gatekeeper and the Active Gatekeeper rule. Um, if I want to create a different schedule, I would just click on Schedules and add a new schedule and create that. The start and end time is based on military time. Just heads up there. Uh, then we go under PTZ. And if you click on auto tracking, you want to make sure that right now it's not running. If we just did auto tracking, it's just going to do auto tracking throughout the whole scene. So we want auto tracking based upon the uh, motion window that we created. So that's the only time we're doing auto tracking. So now if I go back under live view, I'm going to go outside and we created our motion window right here. So the camera is going to zoom in on me once I break this threshold window over here. And it's going to track me throughout the scene. I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to come back inside. And then the camera is going to return to the home preset position. Let's do that now.
So now the camera is going to return to the home position. And that's how you set up Active Gatekeeper. Any questions? Uh, feel free to email me at stevenjusome at gmail.com. I'll include that in the notes um, or just leave a comment at the bottom.